I have Godly. Today we're doing a really cool discussion topic called relationships. And no, I did not have an accent there. It's actually real relationships, like real relationships. Like it's a pretty cool title right there. We're going to be having a discussion time about not just having shallow relationships, about making them real and long lasting. Well, let's get started. So the first thing about having a relationship is finding a real friend. Um, and we're not talking about boyfriend girlfriend relationships right now. We're talking about friend relationships and even some relationships with family members, classmates, and things like that. Um, so I have a really close friend, and um, like we've, we've been friends for forever. And then we started going deeper with our conversations and stuff. But that's a relationship especially reserved for her. My relationship with my sister is especially reserved for that relationship. Like, not all the relationships are going to be super deep and things like that. Like, you don't want to get super deep with all your classmates and things like that. So I just chose, um, like, one of my friends that I, I knew I could trust and things like that. Um, not that my other friends I couldn't trust. Just someone that I know would go deep with me and have those conversations with me. And it's a great relationship. In order to have a good real relationship, you need to have time. You can't just mm -hmm. see your friend every once in a while and text her every once in a while and expect for y'all to get really close. You need to put time into the relationship. You need to make it a point to go up and talk to them and learn more about them and listen to them. And hopefully they'll do the same back to you. If you don't put time in, you're not going to get the relationship you want. I learned that the hard way. I expected all my friends to come to me. Um, and we weren't getting closer, we were actually getting farther apart. And my dad had to tell me, you know what, you need to make it a point to have this relationship. You can't expect your friends to do everything. And once I started putting work into the relationship, I found out that I got a lot closer to my friends. And so, make sure to put the time in if you want a good, real relationship. And a lot of a great topic because that also works with your relationship with God too. If you aren't spending time with Him every day, if you aren't talking to Him, imagine you had a best friend, you said, oh, that's my best friend, you never talk to them. And you never, like, spend time with them at all. That relationship wouldn't be a real relationship. And so that's the thing about your relationship with God, too. The more time you spend with them, the closer you get. Even if it's just, God, I don't know what to do right now other than talk to you about what happened today. Just that time, just setting aside that time in that place. And it brings me back to my tips for the devotional. You can go back and watch that one. That's a really good one on how to have a better relation, uh, to get the most out of your devotional times. While we're on the topic of relationship with God, I want to go back to our relationship with our friends in the context of relationship with God because um, that might have been really confusing, but I figured out once you, you and your friend or sister or other member of the relationship, if, if y'all are both aiming to go closer to God, in the end, you're going to be growing closer to each other as you do that. And then you're going to help each other grow even more toward God. And I found that out. It's really awesome to have your best friend as accountability partner. Me and my best friend just started doing accountability. And it's wonderful because we're both aiming toward God. And um, the Lord has um, allowed that to become where we become closer to each other. So that is a really awesome relationship to have. Another tip for having a relationship is making sure you are trustworthy. Mm -hmm. If your friend tells you something that you know is private and that nobody else knows about, don't go sharing it behind his or her back. Mm -hmm. That will definitely dampen your friendship and maybe even lose it. You might even lose it um, for that. So make sure you're trustworthy and also make sure that you have a trustworthy friend if you're going to be telling your secret to. Because while it's not right for them to go and gossip um, you need to make sure before you even tell them that that you think you can trust them and that you have that kind of relationship so you don't get yourself in that trouble but for you make sure that you're a trustworthy friend that people can trust and that you won't go behind their back and tell other people what they said to you well when we are doing the discussion topic and we want to find out more about that topic what we want to do is go to god's word for examples and what we should do for it so yeah so that's what we're going to do i have one then she has one then i have one and we're going to read these verses too and hopefully you can use those and look up verses for yourself on 
what relationship, what kind of relationships you need to be having. Uh, my first one is James 5, 16. Therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. So if in a relationship you need to be confessing sins to another and praying for each other, I found um, the more time you spend just thinking about the person, like Alana said, putting time into it, if you just think about the person for a while, it'll grow a closer relationship. Like if I spend 30 minutes in bed praying for my friend, I already feel closer to that friend because I've been praying for her and um, just thinking about it. It's really cool how those kind of relationships work. And then, so pray for each other, pray, pray, pray for each other. That really will help you get close relationships. A great example of two best friends were David and Jonathan. You can find them in 1 Samuel 20. I'm just going to read verse 42, which I love. It says, Jonathan said to David, Go in peace, for we have sworn friendship with each other in the name of the Lord, saying, The Lord is witness between you and me, and between your descendants and my descendants forever. I feel like this is so great how their friendship was so strong that Jonathan even put David's friendship with him before his father, the king's authority. Um, that Because um, he knew that what Saul was doing was wrong. And so he was a strong friend, and he stood by David. That's really cool. Okay, so I'm in 1 Peter, right? A few pages past James. 1 Peter 4, 8. Above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sin. Offer hospitality to one another without sinning. And that's verses 8 through 9. But I love verses 8. Above all, love each other deeply. It's about what you feel inside of your heart that flows through during a relationship. If you are just having the friendship just because, oh, I need someone that I can tell my secrets to, and you don't love that person, it's it's going to not be a relationship. It's about what you feel toward that person. And no, it's not a boyfriend-girlfriend kind of love. It's a love that God places in your heart for wanting to grow closer to Him and growing closer to other people. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching our relationships video. We hope this video has given you ideas and tips on how to make your relationships real. Make sure to come back in two weeks for our next video. And please, please, please comment um, some more ideas for discussion topics. We'd love to talk with you and give you our thoughts and insights on that. We hope that y'all will have a great week. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.